What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 261 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me as always is J Mac Gaming. Yeah, it's, this is 261. There's no questions asked right there, Chad. I don't know why you had a question no, about no que- No questions asked. No questions asked. Sean Stasiak. That's his new gimmick right here. But this is Thunder. There's no there's, Sean Stasiak will not show up, I promise. I hope not. <laughs> let's book two. Let's get into the show, Chad. Yeah, tell me about this pre-show match. This match was, I guess, terrible and had no crowd heat. But Chris Candino hit Great Sasuke with a blonde bombshell and won in 9:39. A good match, and the quality of the announcing team lifted the match. Chad, the next Hell match yeah. is your match. Yeah. Yes, M- making his debut for WCW is Robert Mallet, aka. Kurgan, and he's going to go one on one against AJ Styles. I'm glad. And a pre show bout that didn't have much heat and terrible wrestling. AJ Styles defeats Robert Mallet, aka Kurgan, with a Styles Clash. Stop saying Kurgan. I will file a cease and desist. You already, you already got one lawsuit on this company. <laughs> Greg Valentine. Greg Valentine. Rest in peace. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, look at that. 71. Listen, okay, so here's the thing. So behind the scenes, uh, WCW has been in a bidding war for El Hijo del Santo. Uh, I, I, I've i been trying to outbid uh, CMLL. I've been trying to outbid AAA. And, I, and listen, all right, I didn't even want them that bad. But I'm stubborn, and I like to win. So when I found out I was in a bidding war, I said, well, well Jesus, Justin, we got to win. So here we are. We're winning. And in a freestyle segment... Sylvester Stallone interviews the newest WCW hire, El Hijo Del Santo. And he says, listen, I came here from Mexico. I came to WCW to be where the big boys play. I want to win the world championship. And it's only a matter of time before I do. And that was the promo, 71. (laughs) Why does he talk like that? (laughs) <laughs> what, do you mean? what do you mean i am i'm here from mexico and i am here to win the belt and i it's it's going to be a matter of time before i do thank you a fucking <laughs> <laughs> that's why i got a 71 he's, he's reading it off a <laughs> teleprompter in the back <laughs> he's polite listen <laughs> and in a bout that had decent reaction from the crowd and subpar wrestling shark boy and the hurricane Defeat the Hardys when Sharkboy pinned Matt Hardy with the perfect storm. Yeah, I mean, these two tag teams taking on the the, the faces of fear at... Listen, the Sharkboy and Hurricane getting a, a win over both uh, both the uh, faces of fear and the Hardy Boys going into Halloween Havoc. Does that does that give them the edge, Justin? Probably not. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> and... And a decent reaction from the crowd with subpar wrestling. <laughs> Rob Van Dam defeats Homicide with a frog splash. There you go. 824. There we go. Listen, RBD getting over. RBD can work, brother. He can. He can. Who needs El Hio Del Santo when you got RBD? When you got RBD. That, that's a question I ask myself all the time. After, I forgot I booked this. After the match, Chavo Guerrero challenges rvd for the cruiserweight championship he says listen i know you beat me last week all right but listen i don't care because i'm big poppy chavo all right it doesn't matter how many times i lose i'm always gonna be one of the best cruiserweights in this division and rob van dam being a fighting champion says listen you're on there you go all right and this and this little angle chris jericho and ahmed (laughs) <laughs> they got the global tag team championships, and they're cutting promos. And listen, Jericho's gloating. Jericho's like, yeah, that's right. We won the tag team championships. Me and Ahmed, the newest member of the inner circle. And Ahmed's like, I'm not the inner circle. I'm Ahmed. And they're going, and, and they're cutting promos. And, and you know what? They, listen, listen, listen. For Jericho, for Jericho, winning the global tag team championships, it's enough. But not for Ahmed. Ahmed's not having it. And Ahmed continues to say, it's, I'm only doing this until I earn my right to challenge Chef Psychosis. And and, 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 Jer- and Jericho, Jericho's like, listen, all right, listen, that time will come. But for the meantime, we're the global tag team champions, and we need to be hype. And so he asks Ahmed, yo, come party with me. And Ahmed says, all right, fine. And they party. Hmm. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, shell oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, shell yeah. 69. Nice. And a decent <clears throat> match. Rey Mysterio defeats Buff Bagwell in a no DQ match with a springboard Huracarana. And during the match, he was going to stab Buff Bagwell in the eye. What the because fuck? Because if you remember, Justin. Eye for an eye. If you remember, because if you remember, Justin, it was going to be eye for an eye. But listen, Buff Bagwell rolls out of the ring, protecting his pupils. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. He can see. He's a criminal, so you should have stabbed his eyes out. We should have stabbed him right in the pupils. Oh, no. We're backstage. Bobby eating pancakes is walking, and Ric Flair just jumps him. No questions asked. Just jumps him. Just lays him out. That stinks. That, that, that stinks. Justice for Bobby. And making his WCW debut, El Hijo del Santo defeats Conan in 1130 with a, a Tope de Criso. There you go. He got a 76. So, I mean, he can, he can work. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's all right. Are we looking at a future world champion? Well, it doesn't matter because we got a tag <laughs> team match. <laughs> We got a tag team match tonight, and in a decent match, Chris Jericho and Ahmed defeat Marty Jannetty and Alfred Snow. When Chris Jericho, yeah, that's right, Al, Marty Jannetty, by the way, making his debut on Thunder. That's not true. With Alfred Snow, is that not true? You... Making his second match ever on Nitro or Thunder, sorry, and <laughs> and, 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 and 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 gets pinned with a lion soul. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Marty Jannetty, look at that. Mm-hmm. And we got, listen, Butterbean, it gets announced <laughs> that Butterbean, Butterbean took an MMA fight. And in, what was it, two months? In two months, he's gone. So he's pumping up his MMA fight. And, and get this, Justin, his MMA fight was Tank Abbott. Tank Abbott, that's right. A former WWF superstar, Tank Abbott. Hmm. Man, if only Tank Abbott was working here, we could really showcase his ability. But alas, it's just Butterbean cutting a promo, setting up his, his MMA fight. Okay. Yep. And I lied! In an extremely short match, Tank Abbott defeats Shannon Moore in one minute and 41 seconds with a pile driver. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Tank Abbott is here! Tank Abbott is here! Mm. What does this mean for Butterbean? Probably nothing. <laughs> Probably nothing. But we're on our next match. Oh, I lied. We're on our next angle. And Huvitu Guerrera is walking backstage, checking on Bobby Eaton pancakes. And just when you think, oh, man, poor Bobby Eaton. What's going to happen to him? Ric Flair jumps Huvitu. Ric Flair has jumped two out of three members of the Breakfast Club. What a heel. What an asshole. More like it. What an asshole. What an asshole. And our main event, it's a tag team match. And in a good match, Chef Psychosis and Dean Malenko defeat Ric Flair and Sting when Chef Psychosis, get this, Justin, pins Sting with a guillotine leg drop. Wow, that's world champion going over the U.S. champion, Chad. Yeah, listen, all, all is as it should be. And there you go. That was that was thunder. Oh no! Got a got a seventy four, oh. and we gained pop, and we gained popularity in three regions. We don't need to know about anything else. <laughs> all right, Chad. That's uh. That was to go home for uh, Halloween Havoc right there. The next yeah. two episodes will be the big pay-per-views. And then oh, we, yeah. we keep we keep it going. Survivor Series and World War Three in November. I mean, this yes. is we're getting well, into it right now. We're, listen, these next two pay-per-views. I mean, listen, check next out three. Check check out Unforgiven and check out Halloween Havoc. Judgment but Day. Listen, after after that it's yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Judgment <laughs> Day and Halloween Havoc. But then after that, we got we got Survivor Series. We got World War Three, and then after that, Justin, we got Starcade, a big, big time to be a fan of WCW. You know what comes after that, though? The Rumble. What? The Rumble, and then, and then we've got we got No Way Out, and then we got Mania. We got a bunch of pay per views coming. We're get, we're getting there, Chad. We're getting there. You could skip No Way Out and just go right to Mania if you want. I can't believe we went. We, it took like two years to book one year of this fucking game, and we've and gotten, we're here already. It's been like a week, and we've gotten through like four months of gameplay in two, fucking four days. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what happens when you're dedicated. 
And you got motivation. There you go. Uh, yeah. 260. El Hijo Del Santo is here now. 262. Uh, Judgment Day. 263. Halloween Havoc. See ya. Bye.